I've officially been making 2D video games for over seven years of my life. With that being said, I think it is time for me to try something new and step into a new space, creating my first 3D game ever. While I know my way around a game engine, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing in 3D space. So to start, let's actually find an engine. I have dabbled a little bit in Unity before and a tiny bit in Unreal Engine, but honestly, I haven't been a fan of either workflow. I wasn't a huge fan and honestly, Unreal Engine scares the crap out of me. So the next best option has to be trying out Godot 4.0. So I've selected my engine of choice being Godot, but how do we actually learn a new engine? I started up a new project and began by creating a basic floor and of course adding in that beam character we all know and love when we're starting a first person project. Next up, I got some basic movement working where the player has a camera on them and they can move around from side to side and jump. So yeah, we solved gravity, we figured it out. I've never done it before, but yeah, 3D space gravity, check. Next up, I threw together a basic map with some cubes and rings, just so I can understand the concept of world building in a 3D space. And after one hour of looking through tutorials and documentation, we have a first person character walking around a map, which actually taught me a ton about how the game engine actually functions so we can start building our first real game in Godot 4. But uh, yeah, so what do we actually need to do to create this game? So the first thing I want to do is what do we need to learn? Okay, first thing I need, I need to make randomness. And the reason for that is because a lot of games nowadays, they got random stuff. How do I build a world? This is going to be extremely crucial to world building, if that was... Uh, not self-explanatory. Next thing that I need to know how to do is to create 3D models. I've never done this in my life, but I'm gonna try it and we're gonna see what happens. Final thing I need to know is audio. So we'll just write audio. I don't know. I need to know how to do audio in Godot 4. And I think that something that's been kind of going around a lot lately is these like catch them all type collectible games. I don't know, a lot of my friends have been doing these games and they, they look <laughs> pretty easy to make, not gonna lie. So I think something like that would be a great thing to get started with, but everybody's making horror games, okay? I don't wanna be a copycat. Everyone's making horror games. I don't wanna make this a horror game. So what if instead we rip off the rage game I made a few months ago and you're collecting the golden eggs dropped by the golden goose? So I've never modeled in 3D before. I'm a 2D pixel artist, and lucky for me, there's this cool thing called voxel art. Basically, it's pixel art, but emulated in a 3D space. So I thought, why not give it a try and see what I can come up with with the models that I've created in pixel art as a nice little reference. First on the list has to be the gun. So here's the gun in pixel art or 2D, and here's the gun in 3D after refining from the base sprite. I did the same thing with the golden egg that you'll be collecting and the mushroom that you can jump on, but then things get a little bit more tricky. I tried my hand at creating a little grass block from no reference examples, and finally, I made this awesome house, which took me just over 15 minutes to create, so honestly, not too bad. I even managed to get in those wood plank textures. I don't know if this takes away or adds to the design, but you know what? I'm going to count it as a day. So after importing some of the models, I wanted to actually get the real gameplay working, turning this game from a first person walking simulator into what we're actually creating, which is a first person physics based rage game platformer. I got some of the models in my sandbox test environment. So the character actually has a gun now, which is super cool. And we got some pixel texturing. So I added this little pixel crate and even ammo. You guys have no idea how long this actually took. Trying to figure out how to do collisions in 3D just doesn't make sense in my brain. And it honestly took me so long to do this, but we have now completed our first real objective, which is picking up items. It's basically like I completed Godot. If there was a story mode campaign to completing a game engine, I think I think I basically completed it. But next, I really wanted to work on the physics. And so, I'm not even kidding you, three hours of time trying to figure out how physics works in Godot, we finally have a gun that shoots off the ground and moves the character so you can actually complete some awesome physics-based platforming. 
we're finally at the last stage of this game's development. So with understanding how animation works, adding in some audio, creating a real map to play on, and of course the eggs that will spawn on the map that you'll have to find, the game is now complete and ready for testing. All right, so here's the deal. I'm here and I gotta get to here and here and here and all the way over here and end off down here. All right, this is my first attempt. So I'm just gonna kind of make sure that I can actually complete the level. There are five eggs. There you go, I just got 100 points for that egg and I fell off the map. Let's go. Okay, attempt number two, we're gonna actually complete the level this time. Using up our ammo right now. Not good. Oh my god, I fell through the wall. No. Okay, we're going back. Here we go. I fell on the roof again. No. I got one more egg uh, to complete the level. Just gotta make sure I don't fall here. Okay, there we go. All right, we completed the level. So now we're gonna do a third round. So we're gonna try to beat 85 seconds to get all the eggs. Got our first egg, bounce up here, overshoot, there we go, second egg. All right, third egg at 27 seconds, not bad. Okay, fourth egg at 35 seconds. Okay, and there we go, 48 seconds. 48 seconds, that's pretty good. That's almost half the time that I completed it in the last attempt. But there you go, so that was my first ever actual 3D game. If this video hits a thousand likes, I'll know that you guys enjoy the 3D content and I'll expand this game a little bit to make it a public playable demo where we can speed run against each other and try to get a high score.